One of the cool things about making a vlog is you can start it whenever you want. Today's actually day two of this trek. And yesterday, day one, to be honest with you, it got off to a little bit of a rocky start. First, we were stuck in road construction traffic for about two hours dropping off a car at our southern trailhead. And then we got stuck in thunder and hail and rainstorms on the way up to a place called Paiute Pass. So it took us a hot minute to actually get the trip going. But a new day is dawn and we are both incredibly stoked to be here because the trip that we're doing, it's one of the more famous multi-day treks here in the Sierra, partly because it passes through three incredibly beautiful high country basins, the Humphreys Basin, Evolution Basin, and Doozy Basin. And I can't wait to check them out. And today's starting off on a pretty bright note already. I walked out about a mile from camp to some wonderful meadows and waterfalls that are overlooking the glacial divide. And even though there weren't any clouds in the sky at all this morning, I still was able to get a couple of nice shots and I'll show them to you here. And by the time we arrived at our camp last night, it was basically already sunset, which meant we had just enough time to do a little bit of quick photography before slamming some food into our faces, jumping into our tents and going to sleep, which makes today the first full day of the trek. And it's gonna be a long one. I think we have 20 or 22 miles to go to make it all the way up to Evolution Basin. So it's still early, it's only about 645, which means it's time to head back to camp, grab some breakfast, start getting some trail miles under our feet. Well, the morning started off beautifully. We were having a lovely descent down from our campsite at Tomahawk Lake, when all of a sudden, in the middle of the forest, tragedy struck. So what, what happened uh, that first morning? So first morning, we get up nice and early, shoot sunrise, super psyched to be out, pack up our camp, start heading downhill. And we're doing this uh, not very steep cross-country route down kind of some thick, foresty area with a lot of little pine cones. And I'm walking down like this, and all of a sudden my feet both slip out and I'm on my poles and they both snap in half. One, snap in half. Ah! Will you survive without any poles? I wouldn't. Today I would not have survived without poles. Steep going up, steep going down. My old man body. Blow out. All right, this is looking pretty solid. Chinks could be good now. It's totally solid. Well, all I gotta say is I'm glad I'm wearing wicking underpants because the swass is definitely starting to form. This marks the end of our descent for the day. We've just come down about four hours of walking, nine miles roughly, through Paiute Canyon. And we started in the high alpine zone, the Sierra Tundra almost. And as we dropped lower, the scenery kept changing. We kept coming by the creek, which grew larger and larger and larger. And the vegetation changed from alpine, conifers, to aspens, to manzanita, to cedars and Jeffrey pines. And the weather just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Now it's lunchtime, but after lunch, we cross this bridge and we start our climb back up to Evolution Valley, Evolution Basin. About another 10 miles to go yet today in that direction. Well, a couple cruisy miles later and we find ourselves here. 
And what's special about this place is that, that valley up there, those gigantic bluffs of rock. In between them lies the entrance to one of the most fabled, the most hallowed valleys in all of hikerdom. A place so wondrous it's rumored to be the most beautiful valley on the John Muir Trail, it's the Evolution Valley. Will it live up to the hype? I don't know, but we're about to climb up there and find out. Well, we just passed about hour seven of actual hiking time today, coming up on 14 miles. I have to admit, I'm feeling a little fatigued, a little fatigued. We still haven't even done half the trek. We've only got two days left, so we really need to keep pushing and try to crank out another five, six miles, three hours of hiking today if we can. came to conquer but we were kind of defeated so here's what happened we climbed up into the evolution valley it was a long hot sloggy climb although we did pass some beautiful waterfalls and wonderful creeks and really is just a beautiful area but uh, we got to a place called McClure Meadow we looked at each other and we realized that we were both wrecked done for the day there is no way we could carry on another five six seven miles up into Upper Evolution Basin. So we basically did a 16 mile day today plus whatever we hiked this morning while doing photography. And that puts us approximately 25 miles into the walk, which means we still have 30 miles to go. So that's a 15 mile day tomorrow and a 15 mile day the next day. And the way I'm feeling right now, I don't think we're really up for it. So what we're gonna do instead is take a little bit of a shortcut through the high country. We're gonna go up past a place called Darwin Bench over Lamarck Cole and back down to North Lake. It should shave about 20 miles off the trip, although we'll still be out the same amount of days. And even though it means we won't be able to get into Upper Evolution Basin on this trip, the nice thing is it means we can call it a day here in McClure Meadow with incredible views in every direction. Well, it's just about sunset time. I had insult to injury, got a bloody nose. I think the first time ever in the backcountry. Who knows what that's all about. Anyway, the conditions out here right now are really lovely. There's almost no cloud in the sky, unfortunately, but there's an incredible reflection here in the river. And there's just a syrupy warm light bathing all the mountains looking up the valley here. So here you can see the composition that I've got set up. I got this little grassy guy breaking up the reflection over here so that's not just a pure reflection shot. And the continuity of the reflection over on this side to give the connection to the background. And you can see how these two mountains are relatively balanced in the frame in terms of where their peaks are. So that's something that I like to do a lot when I'm composing is just use a little bit of horizontal symmetry there. And in terms of settings, I'm shooting at about 26 millimeters and I'm fairly far away from that little bank. So I think F11 should be sufficient to give me enough depth of field there. Uh, ISO 64 and a shutter speed of a tenth of a second. 